Chad Byler here at the U of I Armory after the women's track team sweeps the border battle here with Coach Ron Gardner. Uh, Coach, uh, your first home meet of the season, what did you see out of your team as a whole that you that impressed you? Well, you know, coming back off of Christmas, Chad, we really don't know where anyone's at. You know, we come back, we've got to kind of go off of what we had done in December and then try to project where we'd like to be in the future. So there's a transition. You know, people were pretty sore. We trained pretty hard this week. But the meet was a good fit, you know, to have a smaller meet. We could focus on a few things. Things weren't perfect, but we had some really good performances. Uh, Kadria Seymour, as you mentioned earlier, you know, it was a PR, 8, 841 in the 60 hurdles. That's a great breakthrough because she beat two really good hurdlers, and, and, uh, both in uh, Jayla Stewart and, and, um, and uh, Courtney Smyer Jones. I mean, they're, they're established hurdlers. So that's a major step in the right direction. In long jump, uh, I guess Brianna Driver won the long jump, and Janelle Rogers uh, getting their approaches in and getting some th good things going. Candy Black Jones won the high jump. Had uh, you know, I think it was a five nine and three quarters. Had good attempts at five eleven, and uh, came back and ran a good two for her. That's excellent. Morgan Schultz in the 600 meters, 134.02, a converted time of 132.8. Uh, finished second, but a great race. Nicole Shitkat opened up in the 800, 211. So an excellent performance, great race, putting herself in a good position, you know, moving forward. Um, Jen DeBellis, uh, you know, uh, 390 in the, in the pole vault. So a great start, stepping right up where we kind of left off at the end of outdoor season. So as a whole, our, our team did a really nice job. You know, they, they weren't feeling 100%, but they gave 100%. And finally, uh, I was only the, the second meet of the season, first home meet of the season. What's the biggest thing you want to see your team grow in between now and the end of February? Well, I, I think today was a start. You know, things weren't perfect. You know, there, there'd be little glitches here and there. Um, you don't have to have, be perfect to perform at a new level. You just have to be aware of where you're at and make adjustments. Um, I think that the growth that will take place and continue is their attitudes are incredible. Um, they come to practice, they want to train every day, they're receptive to the coach's input, and they want to learn. If we have those three things going and we put the, we put the physical work in, we're going to be prepared come the end of the season. So that's, that's really exciting to me. There's not many times that you get those three things happening. You can have talent, you know, you can work very hard, but it just makes the environment incredibly enjoyable, both for the student athlete and for the coach. Thanks, Coach. And for more on Fighting Illini Women's Track, head to FightingIllini.com.